Hi, my name is Diana Golden. My name is Pastor David Pope. Hey guys, I'm Dhruv Manat. My name is Inamdi Chukwocha. Okay, my name is Karen Kennedy. Uh, my name is Maya Hill. My name is James Hanby. I grew up in the district, uh, attended Concord Class of 89. I'm Justin DeStaffney. I'm a junior at Mount Pleasant High School. Uh, my name is Maya Hill, and I am a senior at Brandywine High School. My name is Mary Kate Campbell, and my husband and I are the parents of two children in the Brandywine School District. I went through the Brandywine School District, kindergarten through 12th grade. Now I am the parent of a first grader and a future kindergartner. I also have the honor of being Brandywine School District's Teacher of the Year. I am Senior Pastor of New Life Christian Center and President of New Life Community Development Corporation, which operates the Achievers Academy in our fine district, the Brandywine School District. And I am the Wilmington City Councilman who represents the first district, in which uh, Brandywine School District is a part of, and also a father uh, of a graduate of Brandywine School District. I'm part of Academic Bowl, Science Olympiad, Math League, pretty involved in extracurriculars here. We are one of the few districts who appreciate our teacher leaders and build on our teacher leaders to collaborate with other teachers while still being in the classroom. And I must say that for us as a family, the Brandywine School District gave our children a foundation that enabled them to continue in higher education. Both are now college graduates and living their own lives in New York and North Carolina. Some of the schemes, skill sets that I've seen honed and developed by Brandywine School District and, and students have really, and I don't believe that they, they cultivated their inner uh, desires and, and passions to pursue to understand how important education was, but also to realize that they each have individual goals and talents that would benefit them, rather than if it was to go off toward a college or career. I think that the district prepared them very well. Reclaiming the Premise is about making sure that children have an engaging curriculum that focuses on teaching and learning uh, and includes art, music, and the sciences. And it's also about insurance, ensuring that children and their families have access to wraparound services to meet their social, emotional, and health needs. Um, the, the skills that I have developed from student government, it has bettered my leadership abilities um, since I have to talk in front of people and just represent the school in a way that everyone looks up to you. I did have the opportunity uh, with um, some of my history teachers to move forward and um, actually acquire some college credit in history prior to graduating. Um, which is something that uh, we're looking towards moving to make available to most people now. Uh, but back when I was in school, it was very few people that had that opportunity. The uh, program that's probably impacted me the most would be the uh, drama program at Mount Pleasant High School. It's just given me a lot of confidence and it's uh, helped a lot with like public speaking, I guess. Like in class, if I have to do a presentation, I'm not as nervous. Mm -hmm. Those are the big things, just confidence. Our two sons um, have significantly different abilities and needs. One of our children is in the Brandywine Specialized Autism Program and the other is in the Gifted Program. And those are two programs um, that we feel have made a significant difference in their lives. Um, we've been very impressed with the, with the programs themselves, but moreover, the willingness of the teachers to work with our kids as individuals, knowing their specific needs, knowing their specific challenges, um, and working with us to help them meet their maximum potential.